No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys, so I just got off a coaching call with a Dutch coaching student and we talked about high ticket clients and um, I'm not going to name any names but he couldn't get his head around the fact that you can charge 2k uh, up to 5k a month for social media marketing. So basically in the Netherlands, in fact it's, it's roughly the same around all of Europe. Um, in the Netherlands if you work full time, if you work 40 hours a week um, you know, at a quite a, um, a high-end job, you get paid roughly 2,000 to 2,500 um, a month for you know working full-time, basically. And he just could not understand that you can actually earn that um, in under an hour a day by setting up Facebook ads for social media marketing clients. And basically, what you need to understand is uh, that people that work in an office job that are doing administrative administrative tasks um, on the computer are replaceable whereas um, you know people that do Facebook ads people that can set up um, online funnels you know they are much more um, so the skill is much more high ticket it's much more of a high income skill and it's not as easily replaceable so if I am uh, working at a desk job 40 hours a week I'm answering emails I'm doing all kinds of administrative tasks and I say to my boss, listen, you know, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think I am, you know, the money is worth working 40 hours a week and I quit. Then, you know, within a week, he can find someone else to do that job, uh, you know, for him and do the exact same job, replicate the exact same uh, performance and results as I was doing. Whereas with Facebook ads, that is much more difficult. That is why Facebook ads um, is basically much more high ticket. You can charge much, much more. Plus, you can also earn the client or the business much, much more. So there's only so much you can do, um, you know, in doing the administration and answering emails at a, a desk job, you know, for a, a company. Whereas, if you can help businesses, you know, generate more leads, generate more sales, you know, that is much more valuable for that business. So, uh, in terms of how to actually land a 2K a month client or charge 2K a month for your service. Um, what I highly recommend doing, especially when starting out because it can be quite difficult to get your first 2K a month client, is finding a warm introduction or referral. So finding someone that can vouch for you on your behalf, you know, a people, someone that can either come with you to the meeting or someone that can say, listen, you know, I know this guy, I can vouch for him. Um, I guarantee you this guy will do you, you know, do a good job for you. Okay, so uh, let's say, you know, you, you're here, Client A is here. Try and find a middleman, so someone that can basically, uh, someone that the client trusts, and someone that you trust as well. Someone that can basically bring you guys together and say to you, uh, say to the client, you know, um, this guy can do a really good job for you. Okay, so a warm referral, warm introduction. That is, in my opinion, when it's your first two K month client, that is an absolute must. Second thing that I'd like to say is. With clients like this, with the more high ticket clients, which if you're just starting out, you know, 2K a month is relatively high ticket, um, it won't be a one call or a one meet and close, okay? It's gonna be really difficult to close that person on your first meeting, your first get together. Now, whether that is face to face or via Skype or via Zoom, it's gonna be really difficult to do that in one go. More often than not, the first call or the first meeting will be a discovery call. So you ask, you know, questions. I just want to quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. Um, you know, you, you try and get more information about the business and then the follow-up call or meeting, that is when you actually go in for the close. Okay, so let's say you've got a meeting on Monday, then um, like I said, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, that first meeting will just be a discovery meeting 
and then the client will you know say like okay well can you send a proposal or you know can you um, draft up some kind of a strategy or blah, blah blah and what you need to do then is schedule another call or meeting preferably for that week as well because then you're still top of mind you know um, if you're going to schedule a meet for like a, a month later or you know somewhere down the line it's going to be really hard for that person to um, you know remember all the value you brought in the first meeting so try and get that second meeting in the same week so if it's monday try and schedule that meeting for either wednesday or friday okay friday people are more relaxed but um, be careful with Fridays because people are sort of edging towards the weekend, you know, they're already mentally um, back home, you know, chilling, stuff like that. So make sure that you do get that person at the right time. Um, and in the time in between Monday and Friday, if the meeting is on Friday, just follow up with them constantly, you know, send Loom, send videos. If you've got like a free PDF or something or portfolio, send it over, send them messages, you know, make sure, make sure that you stay top of mind with that client. Okay, so uh, like I said, warm referral, then uh, try and get the, 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 it's basically like a two call close. And then thirdly, um, what you need to do is work out what the return on investment is going to be for the client. Okay, so for example, if it's, um, you know, if you're talking to a hairdresser, that it's just a male regular male barbers that charges 10 pounds um, for a haircut it's going to be really difficult to charge 2k a month for that because you know if you're um, charging 2k a month just work out how many um, extra customers he needs to get for 10 pounds each to even break even with your retainer you know it's going to be really difficult whereas if you're doing social media marketing and charging 2k to like a high-end dentist that you know installs those braces you know one client for them is five to eight thousand pounds so you know you can immediately with one client one extra customer you can earn uh, that client your your retainer back so that's the way you need to think about it you need to make sure that you can get that return on investment for the client and make sure that it makes sense for that client to take you on as an agency okay so that is all i've got for today like i said guys uh, warm introduction two call close follow up daily send as much value to them as possible and uh, make sure that you work out that return on investment for them and that you can prove to them that that investment in you makes sense okay guys so like the video if you got something out of it comment down below what you'd like to see for my channel next subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys in the next one